Am I reading loud enough? Slow enough? Too slow? Too loud? A little bit louder. Okay. Louder? Yeah. Louder? Okay. Yeah. I'm new at this reading thing, so just tell me. You know, it's not not happening. Okay. Um, I don't. Um, I don't really know that many other cab drivers, but every once in a while I've had some dealings with them. So uh, this this is a story about one of them. Uh, it's called Veteran. Outside the Continental at 2.30 a.m., he pulls up behind me. Anybody in there, he asks. Waiting for the late night revelers on a Tuesday night can be a test of endurance. Luckily, my newly arrived compatriot is willing to part with a smoke in exchange for a dollar, marking the occasion by also lighting up. Been driving cabs since 73 and have never seen it this bad, he offers. Scraggly white beard yellowed around the mouth from nicotine. Thick glasses slipping down the bridge of his nose reveal watery eyes. Despite the mild temperature, his winter coat is buttressed by a vest, sweatshirt, and untold other hidden layers. Had one radio call since 9 p.m. I owe him 20 bucks for last night. Tomorrow I gotta go to the doctor, but I might blow it off because there may not be enough for the bus fare. I need to feed my animals too, he says. He's been writing science fiction stories on a manual typewriter for years, though with no luck getting anything published. The latest involves a human-sized insect who's also a detective. The insect detective discovers the remains of a person's arm, chiseled to the sharpest point ever detected on this planet. The E is given out, and I don't know if anybody can fix it. Used to have an old guy, whole house filled with typewriters. Gone now. Wanted to sign up for the computer classes at the senior center at Lawrence and Damon, but the waiting list is five months long, he tells me. He, sw he swings the door out, followed by a cane from the passenger's seat, and puts a foot on the ground. Just then, the Gandalf dispatch system emits a sustained beep, alerting him that a fare is waiting. He reverses the steps with deliberation and a lack of breath, then pulls away, saying, Norwegian Hospital, by way of goodbye. Two satiated patrons finally emerge from the Continental, and I drive them to a downtown hotel. An hour and a half's worth of purgatory is quickly converted into $12.50. Okay, there's that one. <clears throat> 